So a major drama is going on in the Shiba Inu community right now. It is absolutely insane. And a man prophesied this last year and I was paying attention. A man that I often watch. So you're going to want to stay tuned for this one. Like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. This. A serious escalation in the official Shiba Inu Discord is coming out now saying Shibarium is a ripped blockchain. They um, stole this from another blockchain called Rhenia and they forgot to change their chain ID and they got exposed for it. And the moderators are telling us about the manipulations and the silencing with the Shiba Inu born leash, all of that kind of trauma mess. There's a huge investigation going on right now. And I want you guys to pay attention to what I'm about to tell you right now. A man who often prophesizes these things, right? His name is Robin Cunningham. I vividly remember this last year. Remember when I was making those Electronium videos and I was showing you that this guy is really talking about Electronium here? You're gonna wanna pay attention and a lot of people in the comment section didn't really believe into stuff like that. Hey, do you believe in a parallel universe? Shout out to Danny Myers, I do. Now, this guy, uh, Robin Cunningham, I vividly remember him talking about this, that it was going to take place and he saw it in a dream and a video vision and it is happening right now shiba inu there's a lot of shady stuff going on behind the scenes and it is being investigated and they might not prosper now take a look at this first i know i've talked about shiba inu in a positive manner you know in the past that you could make a ton load of money in it in the future and of course we don't know what's going to happen in the future but just take a look at this and there are times, there have been times in the past where I have shared my opinion about something. And then God has said, this is what I'm going to do, regardless of what your opinion is. And one specifically is of Shiba Inu. I think Shiba Inu is a trash coin. One thing that the Lord showed me is that Shiba Inu is going to come under a massive investigation and they are going to disappear. But he told me that they are going to prosper, but he will not bless them. Shiba Inu will be investigated for foul play. I just shared that with you. I forgot that I actually prophesied that. Did you hear that? Shiba Inu is going to be investigated for foul play. This dude has talked about this on the 7th of June, 2022. So a couple months ago, pretty much. This was basically last year that he was talking about this. I was enjoying his short. Shout out to Prophetic Money. They always put out these shorts of these uh, prophecies and these prophets who uh, have vision about these coins and they, you know, come out and out it. So he, he vividly spoke about this in a vision last year. And look what is going on right now. This is a new development with Shiba Inu for my Shiba investors. I know it's painful. There's a lot of Shiba, um, Shiba Inu fans that are out there who, you know, like myself, you know, we can't wait for this to go up so we can make a ton load of money with it. But unfortunately, you know, this channel is about objectivity and transparency. If a latest development happen, something is about to go wrong. You know, we also have to talk about it. There's always the yin and the yang. There's the f there's a flip side of, of, you know, every coin pretty much. So is this dude, you know, that knowledgeable? Like, does he have knowledge of the unseen or something? That, I don't know. But I'm just saying, you, you heard it from his mouth. This was last year. And I vividly remember watching this video. There's another video that he made about Elon Musk. And when he made that video, Two months later, I seen what he talked about happen. Now, a lot of people are out there, you know, if you're in the Christian community, people are ousting Robin Cunningham as being a false prophet or something to that nature. I don't care. I don't pay attention to that stuff. I'm just saying a lot of the stuff that he prophesies, especially in the cryptocurrency side, because that's what I've been paying attention to. It has been coming through. Now, I don't know who this man is, but he has been hitting a lot of stuff like nails in the coffin like this is the elon musk one i just want you to listen to this and i'm going to show you something too keep your eyes on elon musk he is going to sell off a very large portion of bitcoin at an unexpected and unbelievable rate and at a time that doesn't really make sense for him to sell it as though it will look like as though he's taking a loss or taking a hit 
and then he will take that and invest that into doge and other different coins as were currencies as well so pay attention to that and this will have a ripple effect on the market bitcoin will drop drastically but other things will grow significantly because they will suddenly have large investors so to speak whales uh that will really increase everything another thing that you heard now check out this article this video he made on may 10th uh, 2022 literally two months later we're talking about july by july 21st look at this tesla sells 75 percent of its bitcoin holdings to maximize cash positions but they prefer to hold all on dogecoin and this is exactly as he prophesied as he talked spoke about it, it it happened so what is going on who is this dude you take the research from here and you go and look him up his name is robin cunningham the channel's name is prophetic money there's another video he made about electronium if you remember this was the video right here i'm gonna play it for you kept seeing flashes of blue lightning bolts like from the flash but it was like a blue lightning bolt like a superhero emblem or something and I was praying and praying and I was like Lord why are you showing me this the Lord said talking about the blue lightning bolts that electronium growth is coming soon there will be a large and rapid growth and right now he's saying that it is a part of a wealth transfer that's happening there there's gonna be a big upset where these co companies that people never really took seriously are gonna start to grow very rapidly very rapidly and they're gonna come up and they're gonna start replacing coins as predominant coins in the market not just as secondary coins um, for whatever reason uh, there's there's a electronium corporation or something that he it, uh, bless this or anything like that electronium coin okay he did tell me about Richard L's because I wanted to know about the founder of this and why would God bless this or anything like that but the Lord has a plan for this man and he said that he it uh, will prosper because he is a man who is mindful and watches carefully what he's doing he has a prophetic calling on his life I don't know if he's saved or not but that doesn't that doesn't remove the call of uh, profit in, in his life uh, even if he's not operating in it it's still something that he can be called to do and because of that he makes more intuitive decisions than what most people would and I'm not saying well, if you're a prophet you just make better decisions than people but we have a tendency to perceive what's going on behind the scenes, what's going on with people and so forth. So that makes us, um, gives us a little bit of an edge towards competition or if you're unredeemed in your relationships and so forth because you have an understanding of things. Uh, and you can't turn that off. But when I wasn't saved, I couldn't turn it off. Um, so he makes better decisions than most. His gifts will be used to advance the kingdom of God. Is he a Christian? I don't know. But is he called? Yes. So pray for him and pray for his salvation. So there you heard it. I've played this video last year on my channel about Electronium. And soon after this was made, right? Sometimes in 2021, a couple of months later, you heard electronium digital pound foundation just recently electronium tweeted that you know there's an event happening where they're going to be speaking about the digital pound foundation they could be linking up to the, i think they're helping create digital pound uh, electronium is part of the crew quant there's a reason why i like quant xrp ripple and a lot of few other cryptocurrencies that um going to help create the digital pound now he's saying in his dream that he's seen coins like electronium caused a huge upset in the market like they just take off you know because they were prosper they were chosen like that to you know just uh, accelerate people's wealth so it was part of a wealth transfer and it will cause a huge upset so coins that we think are gonna go up might not go up as much and then these coins like electronium and the quants and that will emerge out of nowhere and they will just take off it seems like a large mass adoption like an overnight mass adoption thing so that is the reason why i was playing it on my electronium video now this dude so far has talked about two things and each one of those things have came into 
uh, being pretty much so pay attention to that the shiba inu drama i'm gonna let you read it all uh this is pretty much what is going on with shiba inu big boy also chimed in as he is now threatening to reveal who's the real shaito shiku sama's identity the guy behind shiba inu he reckons like there's different entities so drama is brewing in the shiba inu community and big boy is saying that you know some guy named sam was involved early on in the shiba inu project uh and then once the two co-founders split i guess it was him and another guy who was unknown one left and made his own chain and the main founder worked with Sam as the project uh, got off the ground pretty much so the drama all began when a user named rancoon right rancoon.eth he shared a tweet that claimed shibarium uh, the blockchain that uh, shiba inu is planning to build right they just a uh, a a, a uh, they just are a rip-off chain pretty much from uh, another chain called Rinia. So according to Rancoon, the founders forgot to change the chain ID when they did this, when they stole this other blockchain because they couldn't come up with, you know, Shibarium. It was two years, people are waiting. I guess they were rushing things and they just stole somebody else's stuff. So which has led to the accusations of manipulation and silencing. Shiba Inu was trying to keep this sweep this under the rug pretty much remember remember shout out to my two satoshi i was telling this to my my two satoshi on a live uh, that you know years ago tron did something similar to that you know they were trying to write off their blockchain really fast they couldn't come up with the thing and they they just said hey i mean oh the white paper they were trying to write off right so they just copied some of the ethereum white papers and just copy pasted it someone who was really paying attention i guess started reading uh the tron white paper and they they realized how similar it was to the ethereum's white paper so some of the sentences even word for word verbatim it was copy pasted from the ethereum white paper tron was out since as that so they rewrote their white paper and they just took it out so in a follow-up tweet bitboy crypto chimed into this and he also claimed that there was a lot of evidence to support the claim that the lead developer uh was a disgraced ftx was none other than disgraced ftx founder sam bankman fried i guess that was that same character so sam bankman fried was the one who actually created shiba inu or he was involved in it something to that nature bro so this if this happens this would be a huge dump would happen with this so samuel was involved early on once the two co-founders split one left made his own chain and the other worked on you know the project trying to get it off the ground so this is what big boy is i mean allegedly uh, claiming and he is i guess investigating this i will leave the these links here on twitter in the description box below because these are long tweets on discord there's a lot of back and forth somebody's trying to expose shy toshi and he chimed in and they're just going back and forth with it the community has not <laughs> taken this lightly man somebody saying rest in peace shibarium and all of her tokens that are about to come on this is if this happens this would be sad because look a lot of people anticipated shiba inu to be one of the best thing you know one of the best chains ever bro because people were going to create meme coins metaverse all sorts of stuff was about to come onto the chain but sadly hey it just turns out to be this a nothing burger where these people was rushing the chain and they wind up copying somebody else's chain id or a complete other blockchain someone here made a solid point and said if you're gonna do testnet v3 why would you do it on a chain that already launched like somebody else's mainnet you took and you're using that as a testnet v3 it doesn't make make sense pretty much and someone said and five million dollars worth of bond token were just unstaked today so the shiba inu whales and the bond token holders like the largest holders are starting to unstake and they're selling their stuff so if you're holding ship right now just be wise with your decision i'm not saying panic sell but just be cautious as now new evidence come on i have to present it to you guys i can't be just bullish shiba inu we're gonna go to the moon while in the background everything everything else is burning pretty much you know nakamoto transparency objectivity all the time so 
this is the other side that I wanted you guys to know of today. So let me know in the comment section below whether you think this is just a third. Do you really believe that Sam Bankman Fried? <laughs> He's the founder. He was the guy actually behind the Shiba Inu. I mean, if this comes out as true, it'll be devastating for the whole Shiba Inu nation. Bro. I mean, this is the 12th largest cryptocurrency at the moment, yet 13th, and it's down already 7%. You can see the news is starting to kick in. Uh, by tomorrow, it might be even more damage, or it could be just FUD and they can carry on with their journey. But I'm just saying, this is one of the largest cryptocurrencies by market cap. It is none other than a meme token. And they are also trying to out another founder because BitBoy now is coming out saying, wait until I dox the real founder of Shiba Inu is coming this week or something, maybe even tomorrow. And if that <laughs> comes out to be Sam Bankman Fried, it will be devastating. If that comes out to be Vitalik, which I don't believe it is, I'm done. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap for that. So let me know in the comment section below. This was just a, a short one. What are your thoughts on Shiba Inu and also, you know, the prophecies that this dude just keeps talking about and they keep coming through they keep coming into fruition i'm gonna leave the link to this channel in the description box below for you to check out it's called prophetic money like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out